from St. Catherine to my inner church. I'm born again and I come in your presence to bring the word of God to you with the permission of our canon um, to guide you, canon David Richard. God bless you as you listen. Today I would like us to think about or want to share the word of God concerning the topic of seeking and calling on God. Because in the book of Isaiah 55 verse 6, God is saying, Seek the Lord while he may be found, and call on him while he is near. And I was thinking to myself, why would God say while he may be uh, while he may be near or while he can still be found? It's because I realize that oftentimes in the Old Testament, people of the Israelites had uh, the habit of annoying God, and at such times God would kind of give them over to their enemies, and it would seem like he was very far from them. It would seem like he had forgotten them. And two of the instances that I checked, there are many, but the two that I checked are in the book of Judges, chapter 6. It says again, the children of Israel did evil in the eyes of the Lord, and he gave them over to their enemies, the Midianites. And again, in the book of the same book of Judges, chapter 13, it says the same thing. Again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord, and he gave them over uh, to, their, uh, to their enemies, the Philistines. So during that time, it would seem like God was very far from them. God was not near them. God is like he had given up on them. But God is merciful. God is merciful. God is kind. God is loving. He's our loving Father. And it is not his joy when he sees us in slavery, in bondage of other people or other gods that uh, terrorize us. He wants us to be close to him. And so that is why he's giving us an opportunity. It's an offer that he's giving us, the offer of salvation, the offer of friendship with him. That's why he's telling us in Isaiah, do not just do things just to please yourselves in the natural. Come, seek me. Call on me because I'm merciful. I will forgive you. I will befriend you once again. I will hear you when you call me. When you when, when you call me and, and and repent of your sins. And so God giving us an offer to come back to Him. It means when can we then come to Him? He's saying today is the day of salvation. Today is the time of God's favor. Today is the day that God can hear you. Today is the day when God can come to you and embrace you because you are his child. And again he says, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. That means God loves us. That means God cares for us. Even when we have gone out there, strayed away like lost sheep, He's still thinking about us. But again, I will ask myself, why would God say, when, you ca when I cannot be found, when, I, you know, when I'm not near? It, it also means that there comes a time, as I have just said uh, previously there, that time expires. God does not expire. God is eternal. God is from everlasting to everlasting. It, but it is time that he gives us. It is the opportunities that he gives us that expire. It is our time, it's our lives that expire. And so when the opportunity expires with our lives before we have come back to him in reconciliation, that is when it is says, you cannot find me. I will not hear you because you are not there in the first place. You have expired. Time has expired. And so we need to constantly be aware that we can call God in prayer that we can call God in interceding for others, that we can call God in repentance. Because like now, 
we don't know in the situation we are in, 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 in the country, in Kenya, and the world over. We do not know what God saw in us because he sees everything, he knows everything. We do not know what he saw in us, that he allowed this corona pandemic to attack us, to terrorize us. We do not know. In fact, the word of God says, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. So for this one, we do not know. But he also says, whatever he brings our way, just like the rain comes, and it makes a difference in our fields. The fields get green and the rest of it, the crops grow. Just like the rains come and make a difference. The Lord is saying, whatever I allow to happen, it is not just for nothing. There is a purpose. There is something I want to communicate to you. And at a time like this, we, we, we need just to call on the Lord in these intercessions, in this repentance. So that if it is going astray like the Israelites, then we can call God to have mercy on us, to forgive us, to come to us and to get uh, and to help us come out of these woods that we are suffering from from corona pandemic we need to praise god we need to worship him we need to tell him you are the only god we need not go after other gods we need to tell him there is no other worship the lord tell him he's the only one in our lives we need to serve him with all our hearts with all our minds, with all our souls, with all our resources. God needs us in terms of worshipping Him, telling Him that we are His and we are His alone. So God, we need to come to God in prayer. We need to come to God um, in worship. We need to come to God in repentance. And because He knows it all, He knows what He's doing, we pray that a new season out of what we are going through a new season is coming and that is only after calling on him that is only after seeking him because we cannot just sit and say he's coming he'll give us a new season but god is faithful when we call him faithfully when we seek him faithfully when we say we, we are going to do away with our evil ways when we say we are going to do away with our wicked ways God is merciful, He is faithful, He is gracious, and sure enough, He will accomplish the purpose for which He has allowed us to find ourselves in this situation, and I believe it will be a better time for us. Maybe He wants us to know Him better, and indeed not maybe, that is what He wants us to, to do, to know Him better, to revere Him, to give Him the place that He occupies, He should occupy in our hearts, in our lives, in our country, and in the world over. Because if this is a global thing, it is not just Kenya. He wants the whole world to know there is a God who created the heavens, there is a God who created the earth, and they all belong to him. We all belong to him, both what he has created and all of us. So we and I believe there is a purpose for it. And we wait patiently to see what God will do, because this is just a season and I pray and believe all of us are praying, all of us are interceding, all of us are calling on God, all of us are asking God to come through to us. So, in conclusion, we can say, the day and hour of, of Christ's return is not known, and so we need to seek Him. We need to seek Him because Time expires, just like our airtime and our bundles expire. Time will expire. For now, we have the time to seek God. For now, we have the time to call God. But you see, it cannot go on like that. When Christ is coming again, He's not coming again to save us from the sins that He found us with. When He comes again, He's coming to collect those who have accepted Him. And so the offer of salvation is important because when Christ comes, it is no longer time to persuade us. It is time that God will not be found. He will have taken the ones that accepted him 
and the rest there will be no time. So may the Lord help us. My prayer is may God save us from this bondage of sin that we find ourselves in, from this bondage of evil, from this bondage of wickedness that we find ourselves in. May God save us from this coronavirus pandemic and so that we can go back to our normal, not our normal sinful lives, but the better lives. As we go out to our daily activities, we shall go out as better people who have met the Lord face to face through the experience of Corona pandemic and anything else that God may want us to, um, to, to know. So God bless you. God keep you safe because he is faithful and is from everlasting to everlasting. We shall see his goodness as long as we call on him, as long as we seek his face when there is time to do so. God bless you.